Before you can begin to use AutoCAD architecture, you must install the software. If you are installing from a downloaded executable file, or if you are installing from a DVD, locate the Setup EXE file and then double-click it. The installation process will begin. Depending on your user account control settings, you may be prompted if you want to allow the software to install. You will see the Install dialog box. At the bottom is the Installation Progress bar. After a brief dialog box setup initialization, we're ready to install the product. On the next screen, notice that in the dialog box, there are two options in the lower left, Create Deployment and Install Tools and Utilities. Use Create Deployment if you have a network version of the software and you want to create an MSI or Microsoft installation file to deploy the product onto other computers. If you choose the Install Tools and Utilities option, notice that there are three options. Network License Manager, Autodesk CAD Manager Tools, and Autodesk Content Service. Use Network License Manager to set up and use the software to access the FlexLM product to manage your network installation and license file. The second option, Autodesk CAD Manager Tools, gives the CAD Manager the ability to control end-user access to product support and to updates. The third option, Autodesk Content Service, allows you to quickly find content in the shared folders on your network. I'll click Back. In the lower right is the Install option. Click this to begin the installation process. On the next screen, you can read the license agreement. To install the software, select the I Accept Radio button and then click Next. On the Product Information screen, choose your license type, either standalone or network. Notice that if you don't have your product information handy, you can try the software for 30 days. In this case, I'll click I want to try this product for 30 days, then click Next. On the Configuration Installation screen, choose the products you wish to install. If a component such as Autodesk Recap was already installed when you installed another Autodesk product, that component's install option will be dimmed. I'll install all the products listed. Notice that Autodesk AutoCAD Architecture 2015 has a small down arrow just below the installation checkbox. Clicking this allows you to customize your installation. When you click the AutoCAD architecture arrow, the install will check online for any updates to the product. If available, they will be listed for you to include as part of the installation. By default, Express Tools is excluded from the installation. Since I want the additional functionality found in the Express Tools, I'll select the Express Tools checkbox. If you skip this step, after the product is installed, you may go to the Control Panel and in Programs and Features for Windows 7 and 8, use the Add Features option. In the Content Packs area, for the AutoCAD 2015 Profile and Desktop Shortcut icon, I'll click Yes. I'll install the U.S. Imperial, Metric, and Global content. Scrolling to the bottom of the dialog box, Notice that there are options to modify the Content Browser Library file location as well as Configurable Folders options. Below this, the Service Packs options are listed. When finished, you can click the arrow under the Install checkbox to close the customization area and return to the product list. Then click Install. The installation begins. There are two progress meters. On the top is a meter for the product currently being installed, and on the bottom is an overall progress one. The installation is now complete. I'll click Finish. We are now ready to launch AutoCAD Architecture for the first time.